in tight windows, as we like to say in the football business. And, uh, and he hit him kind of on the run so they could make a play. Yep. And Harrison Smith is a stopper. That dude is a difference He's maker. Stud. Yeah. Snaps, uh, big time. All right. Well, we, we've gone a little heavy, but look, the Viking, Vikings, you know, I think it was it was a game one. It's a victory. Um, and, you know, you, you start to, you know, now it's about it. Football is always about adapting. Right. So let's adapt and move forward. But um, let's see what they have. But, you know, a good a good start of the season. Uh, feel pretty bad for the Browns. They get they did get the non loss today. But 625 days now, I saw the visual on their game, 625 days since their last victory. That's brutal. Gee, but, man. Uh, Holy smokes. What? How yeah, 625. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, My kids have had two birthdays since then. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's roll into some Minnesota goodbyes here. Uh, Lonnie, you go first. Okay, I don't know the first thing about tennis decorum or anything like that, <laughs> but good gravy. I cannot even deal with anybody that came away thinking that Serena Williams was some type of victim in the U.S. Open final. <laughs> first off, you smash your racket on the ground like, I, I don't know, Nice tantrum. Then you get a warning from, I don't know, apparently coaching is illegal in game in tennis. So she gets a warning and gets a point, you know, awarded to her opponent uh, because her coach was gesturing to her during the match, which she denied. And then she went on the attack against the umpire and demanded an apology for something that her coach admitted to doing later on. <laughs> and then she gets personal and she plays the sexism card. She calls the umpire a thief, uh, but she's the victim. Give me a break. Go away. Yeah. I didn't see any of it. So sorry. Uh, she I mean, pulled it I, together at the press conference after the match. I mean, I, I, she, she, she did do the right thing at the end, but yeah, no, it was not her best day. Yeah. Well, I, and I, I can't wait until her, until her daughter, you know, smashes her rattle on the railing right. of her crib right. and then fires a <laughs> bottle of formula at her and calls her a thief and everything else. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm so tired of it. You know what? It's, it's, she had three strikes. Just, just own it. Be done. Yeah. All right. Well said. The, the ladies are going to come after you now, but that's all right. Great. Uh, Keep the gloves up. <laughs> All right, Tony, what do you got? Uh, Minnesota goodbye to the mediocre goal for football team. Uh, yes. There we go. Row the boat, Tony. Row the boat. <laughs> Hyper family. <laughs> uh, uh, two things. Uh, two things for me. One, uh, as we're as we're recording here, the Packers are coming back. With Rodgers at the helm, it's not 2016 pending a PAT attempt, uh, or, uh, uh, or actually a PAT is an attempt. So, but anyway, um, two, uh, Minnesota goodbye to me is goodbye to the NCAA for clearing Michigan State of any wrongdoing the Larry Nasser fiasco. No um, oh, I got God. two words for, Mich- for the NCAA on this one. <laughs> you. That's Gross. all. That's all I really have because uh, – we could do this, but I already said we're going long, and that's just, I don't, that's just despicable. It's absolutely despicable, and unfortunately, it's also absolutely predictable, but uh, it's 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 really disappointing and, and, and awful. So, uh, NCAA, go F yourselves on that. Well, on that cheerful note, um, <laughs> so for, for Lonnie and Tony... And Brandon, this is Nick. Thanks for listening to this and all the episodes of The Fan Show, which you can hear at TalkNorth.com with a host of other great shows, including a new show with Jeff Diamond. Uh, so if uh, if you want to hear all about old Viking stories, I'm sure that'll be a great show for that. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for listening to all the shows. We'll be back with you again soon. You just want to provide the best service you can. And you know marketing is vital to build your business, but it's also overwhelming and confusing. Successful Marketing Group is passionately committed to businesses, 
helping them get found, get customers, and build dreams. Successful Marketing Group understands your problems and truly wants to help you be successful, providing digital marketing packages with proven results. Go to SuccessfulMarketingGroup.com slash Cheryl Reeve for a free 45-minute audit and action plan. That's SuccessfulMarketingGroup.com slash Cheryl Reeve.